In 1945, as the Japanese surrendered, Singapore again faced British rule. As the streets of Singapore fill with citizens waving to the returning troops, one may forget the political tension between the two nations. No longer were the British seen as the invincible rulers, but instead those who had abandoned the nation, leaving it to be destroyed. As one looks back on Singapore at this time, and then at the nation now, it is essential to ask, what role, if any, did the manner of Singapore's decolonization have on its success today? After the Japanese occupation, Singapore's economy was extremely damaged. By 1946, however, under the British military administration, food and housing shortages were massively reduced. The harbour, which was destroyed by the Japanese, was restored, and by 1947, due to the demand in tin and rubber, Singapore's economy had immensely improved. Yet, the British left in 1963, leaving a gap in Singapore's GDP and raising unemployment to more than 20%. The country was still extremely underdeveloped and uncompetitive in the international market. The British had repaired the nation after the war to some extent, yet with more economic issues arising, as well as a population of recently arrived migrants who lacked any shared history or culture, one would not believe Singapore could be so successful in 50 years, their GDP growing by $295 billion. This was due to the power of one man, Lee Kuan Yew. Born in 1923, Lee Kuan Yew had seen Singapore through first and second wave British colonization, plus the Japanese occupation, becoming Prime Minister in 1959. With full independence in 1965, Lee began to implement plans in order to create the Singapore he had longed for. Putting economy and national security first, Lee Kuan Yew made foreign investment easier in order for Singaporean companies to learn from their more developed international counterparts. He also made the decision to make English Singapore's first language, whilst maintaining one's heritage language at school, helping Singapore to become more competitive internationally without losing a sense of cultural heritage and creating alienation. Lee binded the people of Singapore together, then supported them towards international success. Because of Lee Kuan Yew's ruling, Singapore has now thrived to what it is today. To say that this is due to British colonization would be to discredit the work of the Singaporean people at Lee Kuan Yew. The return of the British allowed for the repair of Singapore to some extent. However, its overall success was led by Lee Kuan Yew and those who stood beside him, the nation of Singapore. <laughs> Lagi sekali yang bersemangat, berjaga!